what is the difference between benign and malignant tumor first of all what is tumor what is a tumor tumor is an abnormal lump abnormal lump or growth of cells sometimes a tumor is made up of cells that are not a threat to invade other tissues this is considered benign when when the tumor is made up of cells that are not a threat to invade other tissue is considered as benign no threat to other tissues when the cells are abnormal abnormal and can grow uncontrollably uncontrollably and spread to other parts of body the spread spread occurs in the in the malignant tumor so this spreading process this spreading process is actually known as metastasis spreading process is known as metastasis and this metastasis occurs only in case of malignant tumor in case of malignant tumor to determine whether a tumor is benign or uh, benign or cancerous benign or malignant a healthcare provider can take a sample of cells with a biopsy procedure with a biopsy procedure then a pathologist a doctor who specialize in examining tissues will run test on the cells this include looking at the sample under a microscope under a microscope benign tumors which is non cancerous benign tumor which is non cancerous which is not spreading to other or not invading other tissues if the cells are not cancerous the tumor is benign the benign tumor is less worrisome unless it is pressing on nearby tissue nerves or blood vessels causing damage now fibroids fibroids in the uterus fibroids in the uterus or the lipomas fibroids or the lipomas are the examples of benign tumor doctors may need to remove benign tumors through surgery these tumors can grow very large sometimes weighing pounds they can also be dangerous the benign tumors removal is very much crucial these tumors can grow very large and weighing pounds they can also be dangerous 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 benign tumors may occur in the brain and crowd the normal structures in the enclosed space of the skull they can press on vital organs or block channels they can press on the vital organs or can block channels some types of benign tumors such as inter intestinal polyps intestinal polyps is a type of benign tumor are considered precancerous precancerous they are removed to prevent them from becoming malignant so the removal is very important to prevent Uh, them for becoming malignant removal is very important important benign tumors usually don't come back once removed but if they do return to the same place they return to the same place so the recap benign tumors are not cancerous benign tumors are not cancerous benign
benign tumors are not cancerous but they may still not to be removed need to be removed but they still need to be removed that's because benign tumor sometimes spreads on nearby organs tissues nerves or block blood vessels some benign tumors may grow very large this can be dangerous especially if they occur in the brain or uh, other uh, near the other vital organs now malignant malignant tumors which are very very harmful these are actually cancerous malignant means the tumor is made of cancer cells these cells can invade nearby tissues invade these can invade the nearby tissues some cancer cells can move into blood stream or lymph nodes from there they can spread to other tissues within the body cancers can occur anywhere in the body anywhere in the body including the breast which is important and intestine breast intestine lungs reproductive organs blood skin so these are the follow are the areas where cancer occurs frequently for example breast cancer begin in the breast tissue and may spread to lymph nodes in the armpit if it's not catched early enough and treated if it's not caught early enough and treated once breast cancer has spread to the lymph nodes breast cancer when once spread to the lymph nodes cancer cells can travel to the liver also liver and bones or other parts of the body so breast cancer cells can then form tumors in those location in biopsy of these tumors in biopsy of these tumors might show characteristics of original breast cancer tumor a biopsy of these tumors might show characteristic of original breast cancer tumor now our main topic is what is the difference between benign and malignant tumors most malignant tumors grow rapidly and most benign ones do not malignant tumors and benign so malignant tumors grow very rapidly rapid growth rapid growth but there are examples of both slow growing cancerous tumors and non cancerous ones that grow quickly there is always a always some exceptions so there are examples which show slow growing cancerous tumors and non cancerous ones that grow quickly the main difference between the two types of tumors are clear and consistent what is the characteristic of benign tumors benign tumors the cells not spreads cells tend not to spread not spreading and most grow slowly benign tumors most mostly grow slowly grow slowly do not invade nearby tissue do not invade nearby tissue and the next point is they do not metastasis metastasize or spread they do not spread 
टू अदर पार्ट ऑफ बॉडी डू नॉट स्प्रेड डू नॉट स्प्रेड दे टेन टू हैव क्लियर बाउंड्रीज दे टेन टू हैव clear boundaries the nine tumors have clear boundaries under a pathologist microscope shape chromosome and dna of the cells appear normal in the benign tumor under microscope the cells appear normal in the benign tumor and in the benign tumor they do not secrete hormones or other substances an exception is uh, pheochromocytomas Pheochromocytomas of the adrenal gland, which secrete hormones, most hormones. And the next point is uh, the benign tumor may not require treatment if not health threatening. And benign tumor unlikely to come back if removed or require further treatment such as radiation or chemotherapy. Now, what is the characteristic of uh, malignant tumor? malignant tumor cells can spread obviously and usually grow rapidly often in wed near by tissue can spread via blood stream lymphatic system or by sending fingers into nearby tissue may recur after removal reoccur after removal sometimes in areas other than original site cells have abnormal chromosomes and dna when seen under the microscope they appear abnormal scope under the microscope the malignant cells appear abnormal unlike the benign cells and you can secrete substances that cause fatigue weight loss paraneoplastic syndrome is the example and may require aggressive treatment including surgery radiation chemotherapy surgery radiation chemotherapy and immunotherapy medication can a benign tumor turn into malignant benign tumor can turn into malignant some types of benign tumors only very rarely transformed into malignant tumors but some types such as adenomatous polyps adenomatous polyps or adenomas in the colon have a greater risk of transforming into malignant tumor or cancer that is why polyps are removed during colonoscopy so that is why polyps are removed by during a colonoscopy removing them is one way of preventing colon cancer it is not clear cut whether a tumor is benign or malignant so many benign tumors never turn malignant but some benign tumors such as colon polyps have greater risk of turning into cancer